How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Soccer Rehab. In this video, I'm going to review the 2023 edition of the Puma Future Ultimate. The 2023 edition of the Puma Future Ultimate features a Fusion Fit Upper with power tape to provide support and lockdown with quick changes of direction. Puma has changed the stud pattern from the previous generation Future 1.4s, and although Puma markets these as FGAG, the studs are more aggressive and better suited to FG pitches. More on that later. The newly designed Fusion Fit 360 upper provides just the right amount of stretch and compression for flexibility and maximum comfort. The upper feels really good, not too thin, not too thick, just about right in my opinion. The collar is also different in this model. It feels a little bit thicker and higher than the previous generations. Here is the 1.3. It's a little bit thinner and does not have as much compression. This gives it really good lockdown, much better than the 2023 versions of the King and the Ultra. Puma has also introduced power tape on this model, which does a good job holding the shape through the midfoot. The toes will stretch out a little bit in my experience, which makes for a really comfortable fit. Now, for the texture, the texture on these is really nice. I like a lot of texture on my cleats, but I don't like it when they're sticky, and Puma has nailed it with these. It feels almost rough, on the surface, kind of like a really light sandpaper. A lot of cleats are too grippy for me when it's dry or too slippery when it's wet, but these have just the right amount of grip for both conditions. All right, let's take a look on feet. Similar to the previous Puma Future models, these cleats fit a half size big. I typically wear eight and a half and size down to eight for this model, which was just right. These are the widest of the three Puma models, and for most people, I recommend going down half size. However, if you do have very wide feet or prefer a lot more space in the toes, you may consider going true to size. After getting the sizing right, the Futures fit me really well. The mid-cut collar is nice and snug. It provides really good lockdown, something which is lacking in both the King and the Ultra models. Break-in was super quick on these. I was able to wear them for a full game right away. And like I mentioned earlier, these are the widest of the three Puma models. And even going down a half size, there's still a decent amount of space in the toe box. Overall, they've been a really comfortable pair of cleats so far. All right, now let's check out the weight. So these weigh in at 214 grams. Or 7.58 ounces. Let's compare that to the previous generation. Okay, so the future 1.3s are 210 grams, just a little bit lighter. or 7.42 ounces. 
and the ultras, which are about 7.15 ounces, and the kings. which are 6.93 ounces. So they are a little bit heavier than both the Kings and the Ultras, but not by much, and the weight feels just fine in my opinion when I'm playing in them. They do also have a different insole than most of the Ultimate Puma cleats. Most of them have the gray Nano Grip, which is kind of rough. These are a little bit more suede-like, a little bit softer, and maybe ever so slightly thicker. The stud pattern has changed from the semi-circular studs of the Puma Future 1.3 and 1.4 to a bladed stud pattern. Puma markets these as FGAG, but I would stick to natural grass as the blades are a bit more aggressive than previous generations. I have also heard some complaints of poor durability on artificial grass, so that's also something to keep in mind. Now that being said, I've been really liking this stud pattern on both firm and soft ground and have no complaints about slipping or stud pressure. There are no signs of sole separation or any other problems with durability so far with the pair I've been wearing. As I mentioned earlier, I've heard some complaints about poor durability on artificial turf, but we'll see if that's the case or not with natural grass. I'll give an update in a few months if I notice any changes. All right, so some of the pros for the Puma Future Ultimates. They have a really soft, comfortable upper. The texture provides a really good grip without being sticky. The collar is really snug and provides a good lockdown, and the stud pattern is very good for both firm and even soft ground pitches. So for the cons, which there aren't a whole lot of, the sizing. These do fit a half size big. This is something I really wish Puma would fix. These size 8s are exactly the same length as my size 8.5s in the other models. But if you just go down a half size, they fit just right. The other con is, even though they market these as FGAG, the studs are not appropriate for artificial surfaces. Other than that, I have really enjoyed wearing these cleats, and they're probably going to be my main pair, on natural grass at least. If you're looking for a good all-around boot for firm and soft grass, I would definitely give these a try. Just remember to go down a half size. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.